Howdy friends, my name is Wesley. I work on band instruments for a living. Thanks for stopping by my shop today. First, let me apologize and I'm not wearing a lavalier mic today. Mine has quit, so I have a new one. Well, I'm doing research to find a new one. Hopefully I can be wireless. If you have any suggestions on a microphone for me to get, um, drop them in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. Um, I know what microphones I like for my recordings and stuff. But my lavaliers to the to the phones, not so sure about. So if you have suggestions, drop them in the comments. I appreciate that. Today's project is Barry Sachs. And let's get going on it, and then I will kind of talk as we go, and I'll be closer to the camera. So I'm working on this key guard on this Barry Sachs. I've already taken the tape off of it. And I love this ingenious way we've got it held on with a paper clip. So you can see that the screw holes are stripped out. And this is on all three of them. On this one, I've re-threaded this one. So what do I mean by I've re-threaded it? This, see the screw just goes, this screw goes all the way through. The threads have been stripped out. On this one, I've made new threads and it tightens down. In order to accomplish this, I used low temperature silver solder. This is the, this is what I use. The reason that I use low temperature silver solder is because of the tensile strength. It has so much more tensile strength than a regular solder. On my regular solders, the tensile strength is five or 6,000 pounds. On the low temp silver, it's like 25,000 pounds. Now what I'm thinking is that it will allow me to be able to thread and then use Loctite to hold that screw in place and will have the strength and rigidity that the instrument needs. This may not work, but it's Saturday afternoon and I don't have a whole lot of options. I've got to deliver this on Monday morning. So my plan is to get any kind of residual lacquer that's left in place in these key guards. I want to clean all that out with my scraper. I'm gonna use this paste flux that I've been experimenting with. It's I've really been liking it pretty good. I'm gonna apply that. Now my hope is that I can fill in, so I've gotta generate enough heat to get a good bond from the solder. I don't want a cold solder joint or just a, a, a gloopy mess. I want it to fill in. Uh, so you've really got to control your heat, but I'm going to have to generate quite a bit of heat because the low temp silver, uh, the melting point is so much higher. So I'm going to try to lay that in without ruining the lacquer that's on there. Um, and then what I would like for it to do is to actually take the shape of that key guard. So I'd like for it to fill in and be, fill in and be straight and look like it was supposed to be there. And, uh, and then I can hopefully tap it out. So let's get going on that. We've got a tiny little flame, but it's pretty intense. I want to heat all the way around. Okay, and then I want these to cool. This came out pretty good. Neutralizing your flux. Friends don't ever use ammonia on brass. It's bad for it. I actually dissolve a little bit of baking soda in my water. Baking soda neutralizes acid. 
now that I have that soldered up, that hole has become part of the brass. My next operation is that I'm going to re-drill and then I'm going to re-tap it. I'm gonna take my screw and check the work. Excellent. Now I'll just do the same operation for this one over here. Okay, so from here, I've got it drilled, I've got it tapped, I'm gonna reinstall the guard, I'm gonna use a, a bit of removable Loctite to make sure my, st my screws stay staked. And here are our results. Nice and rigid. All the screws are tight. Now what I really like about this repair is that this I use the same screws and the, I didn't have to unsolder the feet, move anything. I didn't have to mess up the lacquer in any kind of way. Um, so the only person that knows that this was ever worked on is me. Well, and now you too. You can get some great results thinking outside the box. No, if you notice that flame that I used on my torch, man, it was so small and tiny. But the, the Smith little torch just puts out such an great amount of heat in a small package. It's, it's quite amazing. Um, so this repair came out great, saved me a lot of time and a lot of headache. Otherwise I was going to be on the lathe and making an oversized screw, which was just going to be a nightmare. The other thing I thought about was actually taking the feet off, drilling the feet out, filling it with brass rods, silver soldering it in place, rebuff everything, put it all back on the horn, re-solder to the horn, touch up the finish on the boot here, then I would have to drill it and thread it like that. I know the customer and I'll keep tabs on it on this repair when I see this horn uh, from time to time. So, but I think this is going to be good. And the reason that these holes strip out, because they are such thin sheet brass that these stamps are made from. But one of the reasons that the screws strip out in the first place is because the screws aren't Loctite. They don't use Loctite to put the screws in. And so the screw, the horn plays, it vibrates, the screw backs out. So by locking down the screw, you're good. There's no reason to take this back off. You can get everything, you can get to the felt from here, so there's no reason to ever really worry about having to take off this key guard. But removable Loctite, you can. So uh, this one's good to go. Well, all right, thanks everybody for following along today. Hope you got something out of that. This horn is gonna be good to go. It's a cool repair that you can do. File it away in your back pocket. Might need it someday. I'm gonna get back to work on this. 
I appreciate everybody for watching the videos, liking, commenting. Um, I really like interacting with this way. If you know someone that's interested in the trade or think they would be interested in the trade, then show them, show them these videos. Send it to them. Share it with them. Somebody that's good with their hands, into music, man, there's a need. I'm a dinosaur. We're going to die out someday. This is a wonderful trade, wonderful way to make a living and be real happy. And, well, sometimes you're very frustrated working on these horns. But, hey, at the end of the day, you're helping people make music. So it's, I can't think of much anything better. This is Wesley signing out.